Florida's largest model train store is helping people of all ages get on board with a hobby. HR Trains and Toys has called Pinellas Park home for 45 years, and the family-owned business says they're still going strong. Photojournalist Matthew Apthorpe shows us how they're passing a hobby down to future generations. We are prepped for departure and ready to pull. Time to roll. We're at HR Trains and Toys, Pinellas Park, Florida. My name is Dennis Hoffman. Years ago, the cat got to it. I uh -oh. never got it fixed. We facilitate people in a hobby that is probably one of the oldest hobbies around, and that's model railroading. Put those three in with that on and, and not worry about connecting this okay. one. My dad was a model railroader. My parents started the business back in the 70s. I was born into this hobby. <laughs> <laughs> All the engines love this time of the year. We get our children in with Thomas the Tank trains. We also get all those grandpas and all that that want to build railroads that they had when they were kids. Actually, I got the original box in here. Modelers who have modeled railroads all their life. We're talking since I was a kid, 60 years. <laughs> Oh, by the way, this guy looks familiar. The whole hobby industry has seen a growth because of the pandemic. People had to stay at home. Model railroading is a stay-at-home type of hobby. Full steam ahead. Everybody seems to love coming to work. Who wouldn't? You get to play with trains all day. You were missing a traction tire okay. on one end, and the other one was really brittle, so I just kind of just took them off and I replaced them both. I had the right size. We were very blessed with a good staff of employees. They're very knowledgeable. So okay. that's the only thing with so that. So I'd have to go to the repair shop. I'm going to pull it out. I am not the one that's most knowledgeable here. <laughs> they made thousands of these uh, during the Second World War. It's amazing what our young staff knows. Wherever uh, Germany got to during the Second World War, these would be there along with the Creeks locks. Marco, my youngest employee. It's perfect. I just turned 18. Today's my birthday, actually, so <laughs> my name is Marco Camuzzi. Is a go-to person if you want to know something about European trains, digital, even American trains. Hey, he just knows everything. My uncle had model trains. He had a train set. He built a table for my cousin. Then when my cousin grew out of it, all stuff went to me. My grandmother's father was an engineer for the railroad in Cuba, so it's it just kind of like in my blood. Like, I can't shake it. <laughs> Marco's been going to the train store since he was a youngster, really not so tall guy. This model came in, customer brought it, the place that he bought it from uh, gave him the right box with the wrong unit in it, he put it in, he shorted out the whole thing, so I've had to repair it, now I gotta go test this thing, so. <laughs> okay, that was forward, backwards, it hasn't shorted out, so that's good. Automatic brakes good. I'm satisfied, it's done, it's gonna go home. <laughs> Oh, besides model trains, well, I do musical theater. I've been singing since I was eight, and I play the violin, and I've been doing that since I was also eight years old. The kid who wants to sing and act for a living, but does not model trains on the side, so not much you can ask for besides that. We are making great time and schedule. So many things about the hobby that interest me in model railroading. It's from the skills of learning how to use electrical components to make things operational, animation, realism. I just love it, and when you love something like this, learn as much as you can about it. 